That means we're setting up the grand finals between Mars and MKLeo. But who's Mars going to play? Because you were talking about that earlier. He yeah. had, he's, he's played quite a few characters against MKLeo. Yeah, he has some options here. Now, honestly, I won't be I won't be surprised if he starts with ZSS, but you know the Mega Man's in the back pocket. Right, because right. Uh, Mega Man is, is one of those characters, uh, I feel like, it's really difficult for Leo sometimes. Leo has just such amazing spacing. Uh, Joker's great at the mid-range. But those pellets just kind of invalidate everything. It just, sure. it, it's a total game changer. It really has been known to frustrate uh, Leo. And I've seen him uh, go against uh, a couple of Mega Men that have definitely frustrated him and given him some problems in the past. Yeah. So, I mean, honestly, the ZSS, though, could, uh, could be the answer. Mars' ZSS has been looking very crispy today. That's why I think he'll open with the ZSS. Right. But having that Mega Man as, a, as an option in the back pocket, certainly nothing to, to ignore. All right. So... MK Leo, though, still has some, he has some characters in the back pocket, too. We just yeah. almost never see him because his Joker is just so dominant, you know? No need to switch it up. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Very true, very true. So it's going to be good. First time encounter between these two at the tournament. Uh, Mars, obviously, a lot of pressure on his back. I mean, it's one thing to get this close to, uh, to winning the tournament, man, but it's just the guy you have to go through. Knowing it's going to be that much more difficult. Thought ESAM had an opportunity to eliminate him. He did until we got to that game five. Uh, Sam Sora obviously having the success on the winner side of things. Not so much in losers. So MK Leo doing what he does best. Getting the grand finals. Will it result in another Genesis win? Well, you ain't got to wait too much longer to find out, baby. We're kicking things off. Pokemon Stadium. Let's yeah. do it. Mars versus MK Leo as the grand finals. Should be a great one. MK Leo, though, definitely in form of day. He's starting off with it. Jesus. Can I get some space? That's what Mars is looking for. Finally gets himself some hits here. Well, probably going to have a... Oh, my oh, God! Oh. Oh, we are going to have a volatile match here, folks. Oh, I'm telling you, bro. Explosions galore. Mars coming in, trying to set the tone early. You love to see it, honestly. This cat, I'm telling you, you want to talk about somebody who could truly find motivation. Look no further than Mars. Just that fifth place finish on at the PGR. Just not enough for him. He wants to be the best. And he has to go through the best to do it. Why the hell not right now, TK? Set looking a little radioactive. That's all I'm saying, man. It's looking a little unstable. I mean, you don't really know who's going to go ahead and take the lead and keep the lead. Who's going to keep the momentum? Who's got the control? You know, MKLeo had a very nice combo right at the beginning. But then Mars had a better combo to take the stock. Just like that, though, MKLeo not taking a lot of damage. And now super close to Arsene. You know, the tides could be turning. Oh, oh here we go. Wait. Here we go. Mm, okay. Damn! Now, I'm glad he pulled the trigger on that yeah. boost kick. Shades yeah, of Smash yeah. 4. People in the back were actually early on when they saw him playing. They were super critical of the fact that he was not pulling the trigger in some of those positions. Very this sure. time, though, Mars, perhaps getting a little bit of advice and saying, you know what? Why the hell not? Did you see that jump? My man, my man, he got, he got the Tarzan swing, too. That was wavy. Oh, try to get the up smash. Very close to that, but a little off of the mark. It is all good. Oh, MK Leo, man. The spacing of that was almost pristine. Wow. Still, though, finds a... Dude, the stocks are dropping like flies right now. It's crazy. Like, you know, Mars, I mean, he's just been sensational, but he just can't develop a sizable lead against MK Leo, making sure every stock, at the very least, is going to be played very close. All right. Stepping away, Mars. Trying to keep a little distance uh, between him and MK Leo, but he does have to find an end before MK Leo gets too close to getting this Arsene, and he puts like no, no real damage on it. Gets the Zare. Arsene should be coming up. Here it is. Oh. Mm -hmm. That little cross he's been doing, a uh, little small short hop across his opponent. So I'm actually get a back here like that on Sam earlier. But oh, where are you going? Snout uh, scouted that one out. He did side B to find where he was going with that flip kick. This is. Looking a little rough for I mean, oh, dude, the base is little. hitting on that back air. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a turn it up right there. Oh. Mm. There right. it is again. Very clean, very clean. Mars in a lot of trouble. MK Leo definitely patrolling, man. This percent lead looking a little shook. I feel like that's a th real thing about uh, the back air coming in from uh, Arsene. It's like... Regardless of all the damage and all how great that move is, that the sound, it's just mental damage, bro. Because right. it, it just, like, this, yeah, exactly. You just hear it with a little bit of ink. Okay. Oh, Mars. He is letting Leo know, I am not afraid to go deep. I will take any opportunity that presents itself. Really dueling for this final stock in the opening game of Grand Finals. Who's going to take it? Who wants it more? Oh! Leo! Not Barely. Quite. But he's already sapped the... Oh, my God. I cannot believe he came back with such an aggressive back here. But we got Arsene back in the build. Turn it up. <laughs> he's back in the build. There he is. 
but will he be the difference maker? Not on this exchange. A sigh of relief for Mars as he clutches out that opening game in Grand Finals. I cannot believe it. Like, he, he got him right where he was landing. I'm sure that looked like a safe space for uh, MK Leo until he realized, yeah, that whip, that whip got some distance, mm. brother. Penalizing Leo for just trying to land. Well done from Mars. Damn. And that's huge. You take the first game, that's huge. You need that. Especially for Mars, too. Think about it. Look at it this way. Uh, Leo having to play through, for two, through two tough opponents in both ESAM and Sam Swear to get back here. Obviously, Mars getting to enjoy a little bit of a break after he was able to defeat Sam Swear in winner's round. So oftentimes, you know, we'll kind of see these guys with the hot hand come in and just take the first game, sometimes in dominant fashion. You almost would expect that from MK Leo. But it going down to the wire, and Mars able to clutch that out, let you know exactly where his head is and what he's been doing behind the scenes. No days off for this young man. Okay, so apparently that uh, that ZSS ledge trick is called tether vaulting. That's pretty cool. That was cool. So I mean, I, I, I might have to discover something that myself, man. It just looks cool. Anyway, Mars MK Leo first game going to Mars. Very clutch game, but I mean, just. They are literally, they are literally uh, scrapping right now. Yeah. Sad it's that British uh, you want to go, mate. Quick fisty cuff if you want. <laughs> fisty cuff. You know what I'm Lord saying? have mercy. <laughs> I ain't mad at it, though. Certainly not mad at this grand finals we see taking place either. Hey, ooh, Leo. All right, a strong start indeed for the man out of Mexico. That grab, so damage definitely starting to accumulate early for Mars. Tries to fight his way out of the corner. Mm. All right, so now I got Leo not dropping his shield. Okay, we back. Oh, Jukes. Somehow managed to uh, get back to stage. But look at this. MK Leo is taking virtually no damage. Finally, though, some man. Oh, if that second up air hit might have been an issue. And Mars always finding the way to just get back into the game. As soon as I noticed that, like, oh, he hasn't really got the. Oh, oh my oh, God! Why not? Why not go for it, bro? I mean, especially the way the match started out. Quite literally nothing to lose. A man possessed. No re yeah, honestly, no reason for him not to trade that stock. You know, he was he, he was about to lose at some point in time anyway. He just, you know what? I'm taking you I, with me. I need some poggers in the chat because I just saw it all over the battlefield. Oh, yeah, for like, sure. Good Lord. All right, so. Now with Mars being able to even up the stock uh, at the very least, still starting to take quite a bit of damage here from MK Leo. Really controlling this entire uh, entire stage as of right now. Most of the control on the side you can see. Getting a little overzealous with that uh, dash attack, but it's all good. Yes, sir. Still has Mars here stuck on the side and the platforms. Mm. All right, taking his time with it. Mars yet again finding himself down in percent, but. As that first stock indicated, that doesn't necessarily define anything, but this time MK Leo not going to allow him to creep and crawl his way back to Can't a position where that is going to be a viable option. Again, that just that performance on the first stock was insane. But this time Leo really just running away. I can't believe Marvel's actually teched that first uh, F air down, man. Like, this is so quick. It's really hard to react to, so he must have just apparently thought he was about to get hit. Wait a minute. In his own little F air strings, double back air, base boosted. All right, using that flip kick, using these acrobatics of ZSS, trying to mix Leo up, but not falling prey as he's able to return safely. And now, stage control starting to belong to him. Oh, oh wow, what a call up with all the boost kick whiffing. Ah, and I see why he wanted to go. He was actually just slightly closer to the right blast on the left. So he tried to get that reverse boost kick, maybe even mix up the DI a little bit. But yeah, unfortunate for him, whiffing it up. No, no grab on the wrong side. A little mini flubs here, but no one really taking a super huge advantage for it. Up smash, not enough to take the stock yet. Tries it again. I like it. I like the idea. Oh, I like that B. Okay. You're gone. That was a good B reversal. What? But we he didn't still go for the up smash or the F smash? I thought that would have been enough. I mean, nonetheless, look at the lead. I would say Leo doesn't have too much to worry about, but that up air, I don't want to have to eat my words here. Great Mars. But I might not have a choice. Mars. This young buck always finding ways to surprise us. Could this be another time, TK? Oh, okay. I saw you actually saw him go for the parry on that back air. Oh my God! Wait. Did you see that crawl, bro? The creeping, the crawling, and he is out here balling. Does he have enough though? 
Does he have enough? I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm very tense right now. The 60, uh, 89 percent. He's got. He's crawling oh, under the arson. A bra. Oh, finds the back here. The arson is gone. Oh. <gasps> Bro, what version of Mars, Mars is this, man? We're talking about Forma de Leo. I mean, Mars, he's, he's, hey, did, he's in Zen mode. Did you see how he hit the floor back to twerk until it works, baby? Oh, my he God. He was prone. This is out of this world, Mars, for sure. That's how he's playing right now. He's on a different planet. We are not the same is what he's saying right now. Boy said, I am a Martian. Oh. Let me find out. Wheezy F. Mars in the building. Yeah, honestly, with, with, with Lil Wayne, he probably would say the F stands for Mars. Who knows? Like, <laughs> I mean, at, at this point, man, so much syrup it probably does. I, <laughs> Lord have mercy. We have got ourselves a grand finals clutch mode activated for Mars. He is one game away from winning this tournament. One game away from taking Genesis 7. Does he have it in him is the question. But for Leo, man, talk about having your back against the ropes needing to win three in a row against a Mars who's this red hot, who's proven to have a clutch factor like no other at the moment. Dude, it's so crazy too, because like now you have to think about the fact that MK Leo is playing against uh, a bunch of people who have all been able to take sets off of him. You know, uh, he had to go through Esam, had to go through Samsora again. Now he's having to go through Mars, who definitely has taken some sets, even a tournament from him. Mm. The, the pressure is stacked up against him, but is he able to bring it back, or is Mars about to close it out in 3-0 fashion? What a dominant tournament this would be for him. And what, and, and what a renewed bit of confidence he has to have in this matchup when it comes to using ZSS, right? Because, again, you know, I, I did kind of touch on the fact that... Oh, perhaps, my God! Wow! Wow! What, oh. You know what? We'll take it. We'll take it, because we're shaving off stocks. We're getting closer to the prize. No matter how you get there, baby, his, you get there. His split-second decision is so... So good. He got he got his jump taken. He said, you know what? There's no way you can actually get past me. I'm throwing this boost kick right in front of you. Caught him, caught him slipping. Now Mars keeping the advantage. Ooh. Doesn't get the spike though, but still good damage. 73% already. Caught him slipping out here flipping. And this is looking pretty rough for Joker. MK Leo. What it's have the, you ooh. got, son? Gets the punish. I like that. You know, knowing the air dodge is coming. Managed to fade that one back. What you're doing there? F2 pushed him off the Thought that was a clean back air. Finds it on the other side. MK Leo. Honestly, this is, like, this is like the most loss I've ever seen him look. I'm saying, like, it's just, it's almost like, and I, I dare, I hate to say it, but a bit of defeat already written all over his face and just giving up that sock. Let me find out. I mean, I love ZSS too, but Joker out here sipping, just giving these stocks away. All right. One, it's one more stock chance out here. The one more stock chance, as you said, TK, filling this arena. Mars, pressure at an all-time high. Wait, K okay, doesn't get the down smash. However, ooh. Oh, Mar Mars actually meeting him in the sky. This has been one of the tells for MK Leo, man. He's been getting met quite a bit in the sky, especially in that set with Esam. Yes. When he started playing grounded, that's when he really got the win. But I feel like it's kind of hard to play grounded against a ZSS. Mars here on the ledge. Yeah. 132. Just trying to figure out a way to get away from the ledge. There's plenty here. of time on that arson as well. Yes. That's the thing. Those embers still burning bright. But I can't say the same for MK Leo's chances of perhaps winning this tournament if this trend continues. Mars has been an absolute nightmare for this man. You can see, look at that. Mars is kind of waiting it out too. Oh, okay. Kind of waiting it out. You saw he was just playing the edge until that uh, that arson left. Double four there. Still not going to be enough. Definitely thought he was going to try to get that drag down on the platform. All good. Ma oh, oh uh, definitely a miscue from Mars, but sure staying encouraged. He has a pretty decent lead. Also, momentum certainly on his side. Seldom have we seen Mars let that go to waste, especially at this tournament. Last encounter between these two TK, you'll recall, man, Smash Summit 2. It was a 3-0 victory for MK Leo. We are so far removed from that right now, though. Very, it's very insane true. insane to see what's unfolding before our very eyes. Okay, but MK Leo slowly but surely digging his way back in. They are that on the is. last stock, and the Arson is getting a little close. A B, not going to be able to take it yet. Mars, though, still trying to keep the uh, the momentum all on his side. Oh, the crap. Oh, my God, how did he fade it? I'm telling you. Okay, Leo, maybe just a hair too late on that reaction. Don't get an opportunity to say that too often. All right, Arsene. 
Hasn't been much of the difference maker throughout the set thus far, but when MK Nail needs him the most, can he make the impact? Finds I dare it. say, not, not enough. Yet. Ooh, somehow manages to make it back to stage, and now lining up the back airs, tries to get him with the side. Oh, oh my God! It no, is. for Pete, just defeat. Mars is going to take Genesis Seven. The dawning of a new king is upon us. The four Pete denied. Mars standing at the top of the mountain in his PG colors and credits to Leo for the utmost respect. But it is that young man, Mars who has ended one of the greatest tournament winning streaks we have ever seen in Super Smash Brothers. Congratulations, New England on the map. How about that? Man, I mean, New England, you know, they, they've been on map on the map for a while, actually having both their uh, big representatives in the top eight yes, with sir. Team Light and Mars, but taking a win, taking it all the way home, that's got to feel good. And how about doing it without dropping a game? Not dropping a he game on MK Leo. He won Finals 3-0. On I mean, MK Leo. The pressure on the shoulders of MK Leo and Mars rising above it all, doing it for himself, his team, his region, which he's insanely proud of. Fans out there, all of you guys who got to enjoy that absolutely spectacular showing. I mean, that was just, you just got to credit it, man. You got to credit it. You just got to credit it. As I said, Genesis 7, uh, Genesis just in general, magical top eight. Something, there's something in the air, bro. It is. There's an aura about this place. I mean, something always crazy happens here, and today's craziness was Mars. Take it in 3 0 fat. I mean, I can't, I can't say it enough. When I first pulled up to Oakland, man, I knew there was something in the air. I smelt it. Okay, I had no idea. It was a change in the guard, though. Uh, for sure. At Genesis. Because this event, MK Leo has owned throughout two titles. Yeah. It has been his baby. But Mars, we'll put this thing up for adoption real quick. Dude, the, the craziest part about this, you have to think about all the times that Mars had to get those traded stocks. You know, he, he was down in that, uh, I think, the second game. Yeah. And he's like, oh, you know what? I'm dropping the down air on him. Traded stocks. He uh, got a jump taken that third game. It was like, you know what? I'm trading stocks. I'm don't throwing the up B at him. And it worked out both times. Big, big that's the, that's Mars. Big risk, big reward. No doubt about it. And sometimes you know how we see people kind of fold under pressure. They have the lead against MK Leo, but maintaining it down the stretch, finishing the job, making it count at those peak opportunities, those moments that can really define you. We've seen people throw that away countless times. Mars not gonna be among those individuals. And as I said, man, just 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 an, an outstanding showing on his part, man. What an absolute honor it was to commentate half of this top eight for you guys. Yeah, man. I mean, again, big shout outs to uh, Coney and D1 for filling up that first half. Yes, absolutely. Those are my absolutely. boys. Love them to death. Rod on the MC. It's been popping off. And you Great and the time. crowd, y'all have been awesome. Yeah, no, man. Give no, it up no. for yourself, crowd. No, no, y'all been dope. Y'all been dope. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, big, big homie, big shout out to that. Now, guys, that means Genesis 7 will be coming to a close. Before that, obviously, we're going to go ahead and throw it into that reward ceremony. I'm TK. I'm E.E. And we will catch you guys next time. Peace. Rod, take it away. God bless. Oh, my goodness. Genesis 7, that was some crazy action. Can we make some more noises one more time, please, for Top 8? Without further ado, we got to get this award ceremony underway. Am I right? Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Okay. Coming in at seventh place, reverse correct. Can I have Sorry Gaming very own Gluttony? Next up, can I have Rose Gaming's very own Light? The best game and watch in the business. Can I have Meister? <laughs> Next, can I have most valuable gaming's very own Dark Wizzy? Panda Global's very own Mr. Peak is busting himself, E. Sam! Uh, e. United Sam Sora!
Are y'all ready? Next to the stage, M. K. Leo. Now I need 100% crowd participation on this one. Your grand finals champion. Let's go, Mars! Let's go, Mars. 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 Thank you, everyone. You guys have been lovely. We'll see you guys next year for Genesis number eight.